Hey, what up, Cracks? It's Nice. So, last night, Riot did a big 10-year series of announcements that I think you guys would like to catch up on. I went ahead and compartmentalized a lot of the announcements for you guys so you can get a quick up-to-date rundown of what's happening in the world of Riot Games and League of Legends and all that stuff. So, uh, if you enjoy it, or just tell me honestly in the comments what you guys think about some of these announcements I'm about to go over with you. And my hope is that you didn't have to sit through a whole hour-long presentation to get the rundown of what's cool at Riot Games. So the first thing that they announced, they brought back this guy. He was looking extra smug so in this for the presentation. First time in over four years, we're bringing back Earth with full champion select. So yeah, Earth mode is coming back, uh, full champ select. All random Earth is kind of lame. I played it on the PVE actually like last week just to see what they did. They added cannons and all that stuff that I didn't see when I had taken my break from League. But yeah, having champ select back with with Earth mode is cool because Earth mode currently is basically whoever gets the best champs wins. So that'll make the game a lot more. Uh, I hate to say uh, it, it makes it a little bit more competitive when you can actually pick your champs. So I'm excited for that. That's the first big thing, and I'm gonna be running right through these important announcements so you guys can just quickly consume the next big announcement. New champion. Here's the Lucian Gold. Ah! All you need to know, guys, is this bitch gets pulled out of her lantern, Senna gets pulled out of the lantern, and she is apparently an ADC support champion. So almost think like Overwatch. They released that uh, healing, healing marksman in Overwatch. Sim same concept here. She's protecting Lucian with the love gun, as I've called it. Uh, I want to see what happens with that when this is out on the PBE. If you guys would like, again, comments. If you guys would like, I could try to get a game of it on the PBE maybe um, and give it a little test run and give some opinions on it if you want. Again, let me know. Uh, the next big change that's coming out. This chick, she's talking about elemental changes. So Infernal is going to be breaking terrain. Burns down brush. And then these other elements that you're going to see Mountain as well. Mountain adds new terrain to play around. Ocean makes brush grow larger and spawn extra honey fruit. And cloud turns pathways into wind tunnels that increase movement speed. So all the changes to the elementals, uh, the elemental dragons are trying to make it so that the buffs aren't just like stagnant buffs. They're going to change the map dynamically as well. So dragon RNG, yes. Still there, but at least this time, once you once you see these dragons in play, you're going to see the map change around too and be a little bit more dynamic. And the other thing uh, that I didn't get a clip of here is that the Elder Drake at the end of the game is going to give you a execution. Like basically, is instead of just being an Elder buff, once champions get low, an Elder literally pops above your head and executes opponents. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of changes. I'll probably go over them as they get closer as well. The next thing I wanted to show you, Teamfight Tactics Mobile. I don't give a fuck about Teamfight Tactics, if I'm being honest. Um, but that's another thing, and honestly, let's get this the hell out of here. The next thing. This one was big. I'm very excited about this. This is League of Legends Mobile. So Riot comes out and announces that, you know what? We've been working on League of Legends Mobile. And this, champions are getting their ultimates around level 5. You see less minions, uh, shorter games, 15 to 20 minute games, I believe is the goal. You can see a level 5 vial. Um, I'm personally excited about this because I'm actually, now that I'm streaming on Facebook, paying very close attention to the mobile market. And I think uh, League of Legends mobile would be really cool. I actually just ordered an Asus gaming phone. Because I want to stream this. I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's the closest. <laughs> it sounds like a bad joke. I think it's the closest thing to a ranked reset we're going to get. <laughs> it's stupid, I know. But it is. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I was hyped about this. Uh, I'll be streaming a lot of this when it comes out. I'm going to try to get into the beta ASAP. Um, and I'm going to set my stream up to, to broadcast this and, and play it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be rank one on this. This is awesome. Um, yeah, so the next thing, I thought the announcements were pretty much over at this point. I, You know, they, they had taken so long to make League of Legends mobile. And then Riot really kicked out some interesting things. This was the, this project, I, I, I'm i going to save the, the shooter project for the last thing and skip over the stuff that I'm not really that interested in. 
So here, the fighting game. Um, they showed a brief gameplay demo of this. I mean, real brief. I gotta turn the music down so I don't get demonetized. Uh, and also, I don't know if you saw that at the end there. That looks almost like a, almost like a Diablo, like a fighting game that they're working on as well. Um, very cool stuff, but while I, I, first off, I don't care much for the fighting game. This looks interesting, but it doesn't look like they have really come that far with this Diablo looking project. Uh, and then the other thing they announced was a card game. It's like a Hearthstone clone. So Riot's actually working on a lot of games, uh, which I did not think was a thing. Um, I, I didn't think that they... I, I honestly just thought it was League only with them and maybe a fighting game, but I didn't know they were working on this. And this one I'm excited about. Project A is our character-based tactical shooter. It's competitive. It has precise gunplay. It's set on a beautiful near-future Earth. So basically... What Riot's done here is they are aggressively targeting Counter-Strike players. And why I think this is really exciting is it looks great, obviously. This, this little demo here looks awesome. But the other thing that I thought was very interesting about this game is that the head of the team here stated specifically that they're actively trying to improve netcode issues, peaker's advantage, and uh, go hard after anti-cheat uh, measures. Um, for those who don't know, I did try Counter-Strike a long time ago, and I did not stick with it at all because I felt like there was a lot of cheating in the game, uh, and it just did not feel right. It felt like the entire game experience hinged on you had to get into like ESEA, or you know, just it, it felt very, it felt just tough to feel confident when you play the game that people weren't cheating. <laughs> And so I, you know, I'm excited for them. I think it's a cool project. This is one of the only projects that I really gave a shit about other than the League of Legends mobile project. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys that I think was cool, and all these things, uh, we can link all these in the description, but this is essentially a League of Legends animated series. And again, I'm not making this video to copyright and fringe. All these will be in the the description, the links. It's time to let the monster out. So really cool stuff. Um overall, if you want my opinions on the announcements, I thought they exceeded my expectations. Um a lot of the things that Riot is working on, they've done a really good job of keeping secret. I personally am only really excited for the League of Legends mobile stuff. It also said that it'll be on console. Uh, I'm also excited for their shooter, uh, which I don't think is titled yet. Um, but there's a lot of cool stuff there. If you like card games, if you like fighting games, they have a lot of cool things coming down the pipeline that I think could be a lot of fun. My only concern is, as a streamer and, and just sharing my opinions with you guys, is... I don't really know how they're going to make all these games a reality when they're really even struggling to pump out mobile years and years after the fact. It feels like Riot's got a culture of like, well, we don't want to crunch our, our employees and we want to do a lot of done when it's done, but is done when it's done too slow, if that makes sense. Because I, I cannot imagine a lot of these projects coming out in 2020 and being ready to be played. Um, but I would love to be wrong. And the last thing I wanted to say about the gameplay changes, we'll obviously cover more of the new champion and the gameplay changes in future videos, but I can't help but wonder, are all these terrain changes... Oh, and one thing I missed before I shut it down, they're also adding new terrain in the top and bottom sections of the map that you can hide behind. They're basically extending those lanes out a bit. They're also making rifts spawn multiple times to try to help out uh, top lane influence. Um... I know those changes, they sound they sound significant, but a lot of it sounds like gimmicks too. It doesn't sound like they're changing the actual gameplay of League of Legends that much from Season 9 to Season 10. Sounds like they're just doing a lot of map gimmicks. So hopefully those aren't just gimmicks and they have other things planned, but that's just my read initially. Again, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, hopefully we caught this up. What, the, this video is running just over, it's going to just run into 10 minutes, so I think it's perfect. Let me know what you think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, 
and yeah, man, uh, tell me what you guys think is the, the most exciting changes or, or what you guys think about new champions if you want me to go over. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Crackers, see ya.